my greatest pleasure to speak about solutions to combat the terrible situations in Nigeria. In my last video, I tried to enumerate some of the problems that Nigerians are facing today, the terrible situations that the poor people are actually facing. So today we're going to talk about certain solutions that can be implemented to help to alleviate all these issues. First of all, Nigeria is very rich in oil. Nigeria is very rich in gas, minerals. Can you believe that one, um, one kilo of gold is costing $66,100? And what is happening to all this gold? What is happening to all these minerals? They are being tapped by other countries. They are being taken away by other countries. And Nigerians, actually, they are not helping issues because they have a lot of illegal miners who go about mining all these minerals illegally, which is not supposed to be. There is no proper governance in regards to all this. There is no proper checks because there is too much corruption. Now, let's go straight to what we need to do to alleviate most of these problems. Um, first of all, there has to be diversification in Nigeria. Nigeria will have to stop uh, depending on their oil and their gas and focus more on agriculture, manufacturing and services. They should develop more on other sectors like the agriculture and manufacturing services. Take for instance, agriculture is a very big investment in Nigeria. It can grow a nation. It can feed. It can Nigeria can depend solely on agriculture. And there are several crops that can be grown in Nigeria to make huge money. In fact, individuals can decide to start growing, to start depending, to start developing agriculture, pastoral farming, crop farming, name it, fish farming, and all the rest of them. I know of someone who just relocated from United Kingdom to Nigeria doing fish farming. She is doing amazingly well. These are all things that can actually help to alleviate suffering, hunger, starvation, but no one is actually looking at all this which is very number two nigeria should try as much to develop their infrastructure when i mean by infrastructure development let there be availability of transportation when there's transportation it will help to move things around for people to move from one place to another with their goods for people to move from one place to another with their services for people to move from one place another from one place to another with whatever they have produced just like I've mentioned earlier on, farming, when people produce farm products, cash crops, food crops, they need transportation to move this from one area to another. But when there is no transportation, it's going to be a huge problem. Again, they need support. Farmers need support. They need support in their businesses. For instance, taking of loans. There has to be availability of loans in the bank for an individual, an average person, to be able to invest to bring out his or her strength to uh, to develop, to, to form and then make out profit from whatever business he or she is doing. In addition to that, I mean, like just like it is happening in the developed part of the world, uh, not every child will be opportune to be educated. So for those of them who are not able to go to school, Possibly um, they are not very bright. They are not very intelligent to be in school. They can be uh, they can in involve in vocational education Whereby they will learn how to do things practically in so many ways There are so many things that they can do for instance. I was I saw a lady Who is very good in uh, in a, um, Mechanic work this lady repairs cars very well now if such person um is being supported financially she can go miles to even um being able to manufacture cars this is how this can go a very long length to help nigerians now education and skill development they've all gone into the drain 
there has to be developments in education. The educational level of Nigeria is going down the drain. I can't imagine a situation where government schools are no longer viable. Rather, parents send their children to private schools where they have to pay through their nose. They pay exorbitant fees in order for their children to learn. What is going on? Why is government not strategizing public schools? Provide good buildings, provide good equipment, enough equipment for children to be in school, and then provide enough funding for teachers to be paid. And this is the reason everyone is now going from one place to another looking for private school to register their children, which apparently is not easy to pay for. So Nigeria needs to get up with this. The, 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 the president needs to strategize, release funds to all the states in the country, give them funding so that they will be able to uh, build new schools provide enough equipment for children to be in school and that will help a great deal. More so, there is need for availability of um, communication, there is need for availability of power generation. I understand that there is so much, people are so much depending on generator, on uh, power assisted electricity which is not right. We need a natural power supply in Nigeria that people should be able to preserve their goods so people should be able to produce things and preserve them for other consumers. This is a huge problem in Nigeria. Nigeria is so rich that they are able, they are in, in, in full position to, to um, supply power, uh, um, to supply power to every, uh, all around the country. So I don't know what this problem is all about, why things are not moving. They need telecommunication as well. Telephone communications is very important so that wherever you are, you can reach your, your, your business partner, you can reach an agent, you can reach anyone and then arrange for business transactions. Entrepreneurship should be encouraged. For instance, letting the small and the medium um, business owners to thrive by providing, the, providing them with loans so that they can do little business. This will go a long way to cut down on starvation. Many people are so knowledge and they are so skillful on things they can do. But the problem is there is no capital. There is no money. That they, therefore, they cannot start off any investment. Therefore, such people need help. Government should provide a situation. They should provide an opportunity for little scale business people to be able to be assisted financially including the medium-sized ones, to be assisted financially so that by so doing, they can grow in their businesses and will be able to put food on the table for themselves and their families. Again, governance should be um, improved. Governance should be improved. And then tackling corruption. There is too much corruption in Nigeria. You can imagine a situation where people go to mine the minerals, mine our minerals illegally. Things like that is not supposed to be Hey, it's not something that should be heard of in a big country like Nigeria. Now, this refers, this reminds me to speak to the Minister of Solid Minerals. They should try so much to set up with monitoring all the criminal activities um, surrounding illegal oil mining, otherwise called oil bunkering. That is very wrong. Again, provision of electricity and good drinking water, portable water. Why is it that Nigerians are having big issues with supply of electricity? It's hellish in Nigeria, especially in the evening. Everyone is having generator. You cannot live in that country without generator. What the hell is going on? There has to be provision of electricity. Nigeria can afford to do that. Portable water is needed in that country. People are drinking from sacks, sacks of so-called pure water, infested water. People are getting sick every day of uh, malaria, typhoid. That's why the, uh, the, 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 the key uh, illness in Nigeria is typhoid, typhoid fever. Why should this be? Why should this be? 
cholera and dysentery and all that because of what the water is being infested because it's too is being overhandled they have nigeria need portable water and this will help people as well to flourish in their businesses for take for instance people that want to do fishery they need water to do that people can even use water as your proper business people there's there's need to have water water the uses of water cannot be overridden in addition to uh, direct consumption of it it's just terrible these are little things that nigerians can always provide mr president can you please get up and help your country that they are depending solely on you they need help people are dying in millions every day children supply of medications are highly needed in that country there are loads of fake tablets loads of fake medications and that is why when people go to the hospital they can't be treated because all they receive is what fake medication there are so many things that need to be improved in Nigeria because all of these things are a huge problem. The need for governance is for the people of the country to benefit, to be at advantage. That's where there has to be someone at the head, someone in control, so that they can be governed, so that they can be, be so that they can be directed. Nigeria is really suffering. They need help. They need serious help. There are loads of infested food because of what diseases are all over the place because of high infestation. Flies everywhere. There's no hygiene. Ni the, hy the hygiene level in Nigeria is ridiculous. We, they need help. They need help. Road, bad roads. Accidents are occurring every day. This is not right. The greatest of it all, healthcare. There has to be a provision of healthcare. The healthcare system in Nigeria is very appalling. There has to let the government provide, build health centers where people can go to check their health on a weekly basis, monthly basis, or yearly basis. That's what they call general health check. This is not really obtainable in Nigeria. Nigerians need to have this set up that people should be able to check their health annually, otherwise called general health check because the body sometimes being overworked needs to be checked. Certain illnesses crop up from here and there needs to be checked. By so doing, early detection of illnesses will give possibility of early curing. There has to be um, infrastructures and services as well. This will enhance the productivity and reduce economic burden of diseases like I've just mentioned. Hospitals also should be well equipped. Hospital equipment should be provided. Nigeria is a rich country. I don't know why we're having all of these issues. All of these things need to be put in place so that people will stop dying. People will stop dying of preventable uh, death. People will stop dying of treatable diseases and illnesses. More so, there has to be transparency in that country. People should learn to be transparent, do things properly and stop engaging themselves into illegal, illegal activities. Uh, as such brings down the economy of the country it is so sad again we need regional integration by regional integration i mean strengthening economic ties with neighboring countries how many countries do nigerian layers with to say okay now we have gold we have mineral can we exchange for whatever you your own country has so that everything will get balanced economic it, it, i mean there will have to be economic provision everything will be balanced for everyone to have nice livelihood in nigeria nigeria is so rich they don't need to uh, um hoard they don't need to hoard their their natural resources they need to exchange them with other countries on exchange for whatever other countries have so that things will be balanced in that country
again um there has to be trade agreements when i mean trade agreements nigeria ha needs to liaise with other countries to say okay we need to import your stuff while we export ours to give to you guys in harmony in a very legal way and not in illegal form finally there has to be financial promotion financial promotion needs to be included expanding access to financial services such as banking insurance to empower individuals to empower individuals and businesses especially in the rural areas the rural areas they need a lot of support they need so many things they need so many infrastructures to carry them along for them to actually succeed in their businesses banks should try as much to provide um provide services of loaning m money to people giving loans to people in 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 a very legal form there has to be insurance insurance people will know that or oh, whatever they have if it's their business they have they insure their business in case of any eventuality and then all of these things brought together will help nigeria a lot finally i have to suggest this mr president can you please release some good amount of money so that individuals so that individual states can start practicing what they call food banks now this food bank is a situation where food are bought in bulk so that the the um so that the the vulnerable ones would be able to be given free food some food that is nearly expiration dates can be brought out from shops from government shops and to be given to the non to the less privileged ones you know so that they can have something to lay hands on to feed this is these are all my suggestions and i hope this will go a long way to um alleviate the issues that we have in nigeria thank you so much for watching my video and i'll see you again in my next one thanks bye for now